this is why it's better to go for a young girl that has uh, not been like tarnished by whole culture, mainstream whole culture. Um, it's because she's going to be less jaded and less screwed up than a chick that's been ran through, right? Um, I dated this chick, right? She was like, I am a feminist. Bleh. You know? Vomiting her vitriol everywhere all the time. Just like, really just a sad, kind of a sad broken girl, to be honest. Um... It was just, uh, it was so sad just to see how broken this chick was. And at the time that I got involved with her, I was, I was foolish in the sense that I didn't really truly see the toxicity. I didn't see clearly how toxic she was. I will tell you this. You probably cannot save the girl who is toxic. I know you guys want to, and you're like trying to rehab girls, and you're like trying to like do your best. Unless the girl shows extreme eagerness and extreme submission to you, and I mean extreme, to work on her issues on your terms too. Not like saying, I'm going to do horoscopes and align my chakras and I'm going to get better. No, like you're going to go to like a proper therapist or hypnotherapy and you're going to actually, you're going to cut off toxic friends. You're going to work on yourself. Only then can there be a chance for it to work. But if you're a guy uh, watching this content, you have to realize that my content wouldn't resonate you if you were an idiot, okay? You're probably an above-average guy, right? I don't have low-hanging fruit content. My content is intentionally long and kind of hard to pick the pieces apart of it because I don't want any morons around. You know, I want smart people. I love this community. The, the Hot Tune Army, seriously, is a bunch of, like, smart guys, really smart guys. And I am a very smart so guy myself. So, you have accepted the truth. And so is Nuriel, who just subscribed. Thank you. And so, by being smart and being aware of your issues and being aware of wanting to be better than you are, not saying that how you are now is bad, but you just want to be better than you are, right? That already puts you way ahead of the pack. And um, that's going to be isolating. Um, when you're successful as well, okay, your success is going to make some women very insecure. They're not going to admit it up front, but their success will absolutely make them insecure. Now, That ties in to you as a man not having toxicity inside of you, getting your inner game sorted out. Because when you get your inner game sorted out and you start pulling out your toxicity, okay? Um, <laughs> is, is the microphone low? I feel like my, my, my mic is pretty good. I'll, I'll lift it up a little bit. Direct communication works better than sarcasm there. Smarty pants. So you have accepted the truth. Thank you, QJ, for subscribing. So, okay. So let's talk, Mal, right? So if you're watching this content, you probably feel a little bit alone in life, right? And you probably feel at times lost in life, right? And so you, you feel lost because you're surrounded by a bunch of idiots you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are dumb they're not bad people they're just dumb people right and it is what it is that's the thing i mean the 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 value of smart people is 
the morons everywhere. Okay? It's John with no H there, buddy. I love you too. You see, when you're fucking, like, dealing with the pro problems that we have, right? Every guy in here is so motivated, right? We're all very dedicated and motivated. Money, muscles, game frame, right? And the average person is not like us. The average woman is not like us. The average man is not like us. So the average girl is not going to be a, sub a suitable companion for you as well. That's one thing a lot of guys seem to miss. They're not going to be a good companion for you. Okay? And life is getting more extreme. The rich are getting richer. The dumb are getting dumber. The poor are getting poorer. And we're, put, we're being put in a, pos a position right now where we got to choose. Okay? So, in order for you to have a healthy relationship with the girl, okay, or just a relationship that's not going to screw you up, because here's the deal, right? If you're in a relationship with a toxic chick, they're always going to derail you some way, shape, or form. And they're going to derail you in a way that causes you Emotional stress, financial problems, time wasted, and as you get older and you get more focused on your shit, right, you're not going to want to deal with that. There's a lady that I was dating, right, and she has this toxic fat fuck fem feminist friend of hers, right, real nasty pig. And I had gone to Okinawa last year and went to this little island called Ishigaki. Favorite place to go. Favorite resort, really. And I had actually gotten sick on this trip. And I was feeling really bad. We'd, see, we'd been seeing each other casually for about two months. And... She was so attracted to me and so into me at the time. She was going to fly from Tokyo to the island and take care of me, even though I was sick. She was going to come for the weekend and then leave, right? Her disgusting pig woman of friend told her, whoa, 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 you shouldn't do that. That's creepy. That's needy. That's blah, 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 right? But I'd, I really like this girl. And if she had done that, she would have shown me that she is an above average girl. She is a girl that is not like the rest. She is a special girl. And if she would have done that, she would have moved up the ranks with me far, 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 far home, right? Far, far, far higher. Quickly. I mean, she would have, she would have hit a home run and run straight home to, to, to the home base. No problem. And she didn't. She was talked out of it by her toxic friend. Toxic people, negative people are everywhere. And they're disguised as like people who are good or meaning well or whatever fucking bullshit, fucking stamp they try to put on their garbage, right? Not only do you have to get into a relationship with a woman who is not toxic to protect yourself, but you have to, you have to be involved with somebody who does not have toxic relationships themselves. This is friendships, family members, coworkers, okay? You cannot have them in your ear you cannot have them in your woman's ear because they will ruin you period 